Hey, what's up guys? This is Malcolm and you are on Malcolm Talks. Now today I want to talk to you guys about how to make the invisible visible. That which you cannot see, but you can see it in your mind, but how do you make it visible in the real world? How do you manifest that? Well, I'm going to talk about that right now. Uh, <clears throat> You know, for some reason in the mornings, I get real congested. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm sick of going to a nine to five. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I got sick, got sinus congestion as soon as I had to wake up this morning. As soon as my alarm went off, I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got to go to that nine to five. But you know, I'm always a big proponent of nine to five and your own uh, business at the same time. But that's neither here nor there. What I want to talk to you guys about is how do you make the invisible become visible? Now, a lot of you guys already think you know what I'm about to say. Because if you see it and believe it, you can achieve it. Now, we've heard that many times. But everything you see in the physical world all man-made things in the physical world they started off up here very important got the uh firefighters over here training that would have been cool to take pictures of because you know i'm a photographer that's my side business but i digress if there's something that you want, all you have to do is think about it being real. That's it, guys. There you have it. The information you've been needing. That's million dollar information right there. Whatever it is you want, all you have to do is imagine it being real. Here's the problem, though. Number one, there's many ways that you can do that. There's many, many ways you can do that. And some people don't know how. Number two, some people think that it's supposed to happen overnight. It doesn't work that way. There is no real time limit to when something can happen, but it doesn't work the way, it doesn't work as quickly as you may think, but sometimes it works faster than you expect. It. It's one of those type of things. But once you start to actually see yourself doing something if you can't see it it's not gonna happen but if you can see yourself doing that thing in your mind's eye then you'll start taking the actions towards that if I just go to the dealership and bought a brand new red Volkswagen bug oh no nah, I make it even I go a step further what if I went to go test drive a a brand new Porsche silver Porsche <clears throat> with black rims on it what if I test drove one, right? When I test drove that car, that's gonna feel real. It's gonna feel like it's my car, like I own it. I don't, but the test drive makes it feel real. It makes it feel real. But here's the thing. When I take that car back and I'm driving around in my Honda, I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna see a lot of silver Porsches. I might see a few with black rims and I'm gonna ask myself like, wait a minute, why I keep seeing all these silver Porsches? Well, you're seeing the silver Porsches because you test drove a silver Porsche. You're not just miraculously, magically seeing all these silver Porsches pop up in your view now because you feel like, oh, I'm supposed to have that silver Porsche. That's why it keeps popping up everywhere. No, the silver Porsche been there. The silver Porsches have always been there. It's just that now that your attention has changed, you are now subconsciously paying attention to the silver Porsches now. That's what happens when you make the invisible visible. Same thing. Once you start to focus on something, whatever it is, whatever it is, you begin to subconsciously see all the things around you that are going to get you towards what it is you want. It's almost like science. 
metaphysics. I don't know what it is. But for some reason, we tend to gravitate towards that which we are always around or that we always see. We want more of it. I guess it's the law of attraction. You know, let me give you another example. Let's say I put a picture of a pink elephant in your bathroom right next to the mirror. It was a picture of a pink elephant. It looked like Dumbo, except it was pink. And then underneath, I wrote the words pink elephant underneath that. And every day when you brushed your teeth, you had to look at that damn pink elephant. Every day, week after week, month after month, you looking at this damn pink elephant. What did you think would happen? Comment down below. What do you think might happen when you look at a pink elephant for weeks and months? Well, I'll tell you what will happen. That pink elephant will begin to show up physically in your life. Now, no, I'm not talking about a real pink elephant is going to walk into your living room. No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, is that you will begin to notice pink elephants in your environment. Somehow, some way, a pink elephant is going to show up in your life. And it's not magic. So let's get that clear. All it is, is that subconsciously, your mind will begin to keep, your mind will say to itself, why he keep showing me a pink elephant? Oh, I don't know. And then after a couple of weeks, they're going to be like, he keeps showing me a pink elephant. All right, guess I got to go find some pink elephants. And see your mind, it starts working in the background. Now you're looking for pink elephants. You're not doing this consciously. You're looking for pink elephants subconsciously. Next thing you know, pink elephant, pink elephant here. You start noticing things. You're like, damn, I didn't even know their logo was a pink elephant. And I've been eating at this restaurant for the last two years. And their logo was a pink elephant. It's a pink elephant on the menu. I didn't know that. See what I'm saying? So that's why it's so important to be intentional about what it is you want in your life and then put it up on your mirror so that you look at it every single day. Hey, do what you got to do. When you see it, you will be reminded. I have a vision board. I'm a big believer in vision boards. I've had several. They've all came true. If anything, I look back on them like, damn, I should have, I actually should have put um, some bigger achievements on there. Instead of asking for 100,000, I should have asked for 5 million. But that brings me into another point. Whatever you put on your vision board or whatever you decide to put in your view, something that you want to consistently think about whatever you decide to whatever thing that's invisible that you want to make visible whatever that thing is that you want to manifest you have to actually in your mind you have to believe that it's possible that's the key some people say man should i want 10 million dollars yeah i'm gonna get 10 million you don't really believe you're gonna make 10 million dollars Let's keep it real. Let's start off with let's start off with a quarter million. Work our way up to five hundred thousand. Now, some of y'all might be like, "Man, why are you being negative, Malcolm? Why are you having low expectations? Why I can't go for ten million? Ooh, you make twenty thousand dollars right now. Start low, man. Work your way up. You ain't gotta lift five hundred pounds off the bench right away." Put 245s on there and, and do that a few times. Get stronger. But it's just important that you actually think that, you, that it's possible. Because if it's too big of a goal, if you're trying to manifest something that's a little bit, that's way out of your league now, your subconscious mind is also going to be like, why he keep showing me that when he know he can't afford that? <laughs> Please. That's what your subconscious mind is going to say to itself. He must be kidding by showing me this. But at the same time, there are some people who actually believe. They actually believe that they can achieve things that are um, extraordinary. See, everybody's goals are not the same, folks. 
you might want, you know, you might want $45,000, right? You might be okay with $45,000. There's somebody else that wants $300,000. There's somebody else that wants $300 million. You can't tell that man that, that, that his goal is not big enough. You can't. It's based on what you want and where you are in your life. So that's how you make the invisible visible. Because Stevie Wonder once said, I can't even see it. This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I'm going to holler at you guys next time. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel so we can chop it up. You can comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'm going to holler at you. Peace.